Well, good morning, my friends. It is Monday and I have got two days left before I fly to Tenerife. And I thought, I think I need a little bit of a Tenerife trim. And Baz the Barber, my normal barbers, is back open today. I've got an appointment for 9.30 and it's now half past 7 a.m. 7.30 a.m. in the morning. You're probably thinking, why am I setting off two hours prior? And it's because I'm in Leeds and I've got to go all the way to Nottingham where my barber is to get my hair cut. Um, got to look good and, uh, you know, sharp for when I get back to Tenerife. Anyway, remember, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now, are you going to join me on the journey? Because, you know, it's a bit of a long trip and I need some company. So let's go. Woke up at the break of dawn, empty hotel room. Just had to get up, get dressed, get out. And get behind the wheel again. I gotta see your face, I miss you. Miss you, I miss you. Bit of, bit of Virgin Radio, I can abide. I'm a bit of a Radio 2 listener. I've said this before, love Radio 2, but I can't do Zoe Ball. When Chris Evans left, I left too. But I do switch back to Radio 2 in the afternoon and for uh, Popmaster. Anybody like a little bit of Popmaster? If you're listening in the UK, if you're watching in the UK, Oh no, please refuel. I do not like filling up with fuel. It drives me nuts. Do you always leave it to the last minute? Do you, do you not like it? Do you, does your heart sink when you see that ding? And it says please refuel. And then you leave it right till the very last minute because you don't want to, you don't, don't want to fill up the, what is it about filling up with fuel? You just don't want to do it. I am pretty psyched today though because today, my friends, I get to check in online. <laughs> and then it becomes real. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna check in online later. I've been going round and round, always on the run. But now I'm getting back on the right track. Now then for my Yorkshire viewers, yes, I have got my passport to get over the border from Yorkshire back into Nottinghamshire. Oh, I'm sorry, but this start stop thing on your cars. Does anybody out there, comments down below, do you just switch it off? I know it saves the environment, but it's What's going on here? Come on. I know it saves the environment, but it drives me nuts and I think it's dangerous because I've come up to the junction before, it's cut out and then you lose all power and you can't go. Do not like it. It's the worst invention on a car ever. I sound like Jeremy Clark. So two more days, two more days till I'm flying off to Tenerife. Now then, and here's a question for you. I'm already getting excited now because we can travel again. I'm thinking next, Lanzarote, back to Gran Canaria or Fuerteventura. Comments down below, where do you want me to go next? Where shall I fly to next? It's gotta be one of those, I'm thinking, because at the moment, America's out of the question, can't fly there. It's in the red zone, so and you're not allowed in. So I'm thinking one of those, so comments down below. And that's gonna be, I'm gonna come back to the UK after I've been to Tenerife, gonna spend a couple of weeks back here editing, and then I'm gonna fly off again. 
and I'm going to film a load more. So is anybody else out there thinking of booking a trip to Tenerife? Once I've uh, been and I've uploaded these videos, if it looks good, is anybody else out there thinking, yeah, all right, I'm gonna go for it, or are you just gonna leave it this year? Be interesting, be interesting to find out. I have heard, a couple of people have told me it's very, very quiet out there at the moment, and it's not the normal um, Tenerife that I'm used to, which, I'm aware of and I'm, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that it's not going to be the same, but it's still going to be sunny. In fact, there's going to be a heat wave there this week. It's going to be over 30 degrees, so I'm really looking forward to that. Because to be quite honest, I mean, it's July, it's in the UK, oh, wow, grey clouds, it's cold, and it's 12 degrees. And apparently today we're set for rain and winds. I miss you, miss you, I miss you. Oh, okay, there we go. 113 at Shell. I tell you what, I'm a real cheapskate because I will literally put 20 pounds in here until I get to Asda or Tesco because it's it's cheaper. Does anybody else do that? Anyway, wait there while I uh, fill up. I'll be back. Listen to Chris Evans. Oh man, I have to say, it is an absolute nightmare going anywhere now with all these two meter rolls and it just takes ages. And I needed some cash for my haircut. Every machine, urgh, that start, stop. Every machine, every machine that I've been to in the last two days in Leeds has been out of action. true isn't it about Yorkshire you don't like giving money away hey eh? <laughs> not even the cash machines get slated in the comments here but I've got to say this because I do travel uh, from Nottingham to Leeds a lot um, because my family uh, my youngest children live in Leeds and my girlfriend lives in Leeds and my other family uh, my eldest kids live in Mansfield in Nottingham and every time I travel south I see blue sky but then when I come north it's always grey and raining is it grim up north? <clears throat> you tell me. I'm going to get slated for that from uh, people from the north, I'm sure. But it, it is always, the weather's always worse. As soon as you get past Sheffield, it's grey and it's raining. And then you get going south, again, blue skies. I'm just saying. Not as blue as the skies are going to be on Wednesday, though, in Tenerife. Oh, yeah. If you are not subscribed and you're watching this channel, make sure you subscribe because I fly to Tenerife this Wednesday. My viewers will already know that. And I'm going to be recording every step along the way. The journey there, 
the plane, the arrivals, how many people are at the airport, how many people are on the plane, what's it like in the new normal. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so has anyone got um, a holiday book then with Tenerife through Jet2? Um, and I've seen some cancellations come through and say that people have been cancelled. Is anybody now getting through um, emails saying yes, their holiday is going ahead with Jet2 now in say like uh, late July or August? Um, are the emails coming through now? And have Jet2 started to um, approve their uh, change lanes um, have proven okay the holidays and give them the go ahead or have they been cancelled have you been cancelled have you had it cancelled what's going on with uh, jet 2 and people who've booked holidays with jet 2 for july and august let me know in the comments down below Gonna get some cash out of the cash machine because there wasn't any in Leeds, not giving money out. Free cash withdrawals, and I'm back in Nottingham. You ate me, duck. It's good to be back home. See you in a minute. Result there you go. No problem getting cash out in Nottingham. A five, four, four, five pound notes as well. Not bad. Right, there we go. Pop that in there, in my little eye clip wallet. Did a review on that by the way, you can check that. Right, off to Baz the Barber. Okay, I am here, ready for Barry the Barber, and put on my face mask, here we go. I think I've got that on the wrong way around, I think the wire goes to the top. I never thought I'd be doing this, steams my glasses up by the way. That's the problem when I'm breathing, steams my glasses up. Right, well mine's a 9.30, so... We've got the protective gear on in there. Right. Let's make a move. Okay. I've got to be waiting, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to wait to be invited in. So it was a 72 mile journey to get here, to have my hair cut, but I'm telling you, Baz the Barber is the best barber, I'd say, in the world. I never thought I'd be having to make appointments for barber shops. So how times have changed. Alright, you can go straight to it, Bob. Can I? Yeah, straight over to it, it's all going on. That's a good one to stand, isn't it? It is, yeah. If you want one of these, by the way, merchandise down below. Here we go. Hey. Right, here we go. So we've got 
We've got screens in between. Did you sterilise in there? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. I've told him, I've told everybody by the way, the best barber in the world. Weird. Now here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant both of you. <laughs> the best male barber in the world, the best female barbers uh, just over there, <laughs> Katie, that's it. Here we go, right, so, now, now, I can't, so I'm going to take my glasses off. Here we go, the Mac master without his glasses. Now, my daughter's been cutting my hair in the lockdown. She's, she's, you know, she's, a, she's a professional, I didn't say it actually, but she, she has trained as a professional barber. I could tell, couldn't I? But you could tell, yeah, so we're going to put that on there. Oh, so it's been, uh, so this is your first day back, this is Barry's first day back. It is. Yeah. I'm loving life. Loving life. Yeah, it's good to be back. It is good to be back, yeah? But you've just got to stick to the rules and... Have you missed me the most? No. No. I've been practicing my ink. <laughs> missing them. Now, how's, how's yeah. my daughter done? What's she? Because she is. I've seen on the video, she's done really well. Yeah, but she's, she just kept leaving this bit here, like you say. Well, a bit longer. Yeah, I said, you, you know, she's no bar at the barber, but Caitlin, I know Caitlin watches my vlogs. You did very well, just in case we go back down a lot better. Yeah. Uh, breadcrumbs. Le is that breadcrumbs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's got some spray called breadcrumbs. Apparently, the birds love it. Is that right? Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> you better be all right down here because you've got to do it from a meter away. <laughs> uh, look at that. Oh, yeah. For you, my man. Spot on. Yeah. That's it. The Mac is back. You get a present today, yeah. Yeah, get a present. What's that? Again. Again, <laughs> cheers. Back to Hanson. So, I'll give you a free advert here. So basically, oh Barry the Barber, Baseford Barber Shop in Nottingham. You have to do an appointment now, don't you? You do, yeah. It's on yeah. Facebook. It's on Facebook. I'll put, his link, I'll put his link down below. So if you're in Nottingham or Nottinghamshire area, Baz the Barber and Katie the Barber and Katie the Barber there, Katie uh, and uh, Base for Barber Shop. So there you go. Back, back to Hanson. That's great. 
Superb. Right, thank you very much. Thank you, bye bye. There we go. I'm steaming up. Oh. Whew. Right, there we go. Never had a haircut before with a mask on. Anyway, that is all for today. Remember, like, subscribe, Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. And I'm going to be booking, uh, I'm going to be checking in on my flight this afternoon. I might record that as well and do a little vlog on that one. So join me for that one. Anyway, that's all for me today. Yes, that's it. A lot better, nice and short. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.